Joe Kulos here for K-Tactical. So, this is going to be a little bit of a tiger camo that I'm going to be doing on these. You know, uh, for anybody that watch, or I guess plays kind of like Call of Duty, you know, for example, that's that's kind of where I was like getting the theme for that. But I'm going with a white and black compared to their black and, uh, it's, a, it's pretty much just standard orange, but it looks a little different. And by doing that, you know, I'm just going to do some feathering to the kind of things and, you know, make a little in and out thing instead of later in adding female coloring again. So, and then I'm going to do that to the little wall thread I got here as well. And right now, they've, you know, just been done up in white first. I decided to go that way. So, yeah. And we'll, let's see what they look like after we do that. And then also apply, you know, many layers of that. So, all right. So on the second step of camo, I did a lot of taping, and then obviously uh, white was the first color. You know, black is the secondary one, and you can really do it either way. It just kind of depends on how you want it to look, and if you're doing like any type of specialty camo. And yeah, I mean, there's a couple different factors, especially if you do more than two colors. That's something that really matters. Now I did the Walter P22 and the GSG-5 kind of similar same color patterns not same camos I've already peeled the P22 but the P22 I want more for uh, I want to say just kind of like an extraordinarily beaten up interesting shape not not even really necessarily a real camo pattern just you know something to look real neat um, and with that if I get close up here I did some, you know, cutting in the pattern with like a, like those two right there are more of like slits and then you know, I cut it out and then the, as a two, three in between those, you can see those were just actual cuts and then just a smidge of space and all you have to do is kind of, you know, as I went in a circular, you know, thing here, you just have to kind of, you know, move it a little bit to get that gap to open up to however far you want to and then right there I just cut you know one instead of adding a female color later since I just went with a two color pattern and then kind of throughout you can kind of see where I cut it up and I, I intentionally went for this color pattern you know and kind of look I went for the beaten up you know just dirty look so I know some guys don't really like it at all some guys do um, I think again this is more from a distance type thing it looks really cool. Now, when you do get really close up and look at it, you know, it, it is a little, eh, some, and again, I see why people would not like it. But I think it looks really cool, especially, you know, when you got the uh, little grips there and the little spacers, and it adds a very, you know, neat, original look to it. So, let's flip the camera here. And then, one part that I really, really love how it turned out right here was in the trigger guard. Kind of trying to get the best lighting for this. I think it just looks really neat. I don't know. Through this camera lens here, it's not looking as cool, I don't think. But, you know. And then on the rear, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to do, because again, you know, uh, its original color was white. Let's see if I can get a better light. It's kind of shining bright. I did a very light uh, coat of black, so it's kind of kind of looks like, huh, what's, you know, what's happening there, but did that intentionally, because I think with it closed, it looks pretty neat, but, you know, it's just kind of like, huh, you know, with that whole pattern, so. Now with the GSG-5, I'm going to cut, you know, take all that off here, but I went with a little bit more of a traditional camo, but again, you know, with that still broken up, dirty type thing, so. Again, I think it's awesome. You know, it's just super neat. Um, some people might not like it. You know, that's fine. But it's something that you definitely have to be like, oh, that's cool. And then, you know, the mag is pretty easy, too. So, and, you know, and it's, it's pretty neat, too, you know, when you, uh, like, I, I actually did a stripe for a couple of these, and I just, you know, ripped it around. And it's pretty cool how it can really, like, change the look overall. And then the stock I did as well, and, you know, one, one part I was like, well, you know what, I'm going to do one side, just kind of like simple shapes. But the other side, I'm going to do a little bit bigger, simpler shapes. And then the rear part, you know, whatnot, I'll kind of do a little bit up. And the only reason I did that was because how I did the gun itself, I think with this coming out, it's going to give it a little bit more simplicity right in between. So it's going to make a pretty good little camo. But... 
again I'll uh, undress this as you could say and then I'll get that footage here so alright everybody so this is the second or so shall I say third part of the kind of a uh, video and you know, I'm gonna do a lot of close up here but as I mentioned you know I think I'm I did like a lot of feathering and like slits in the tape to kind of add that you know interesting look to it in a lot of areas in some places like right here is very obvious you know I did it on purpose and then other little slits like right here too you know and the GSG 5 part very obvious you know I did them very very big because I wanted I, th I think like the black and white it looks pretty awesome I may actually add a gray on here at some time but you know whatever I'll kinda see if I, if I decide to but as it is I, I think it's like a really cool but you know <coughs> sorry other colors probably not um, not really my thing you know for for this and again you know this is very you know I really like went to town on the taping as I was laying it in before and you know I wanted it to have that very interesting look to it so switch it here around but Again, you know, as it, it looks very interesting, especially from like from a very close up angle, it's like ah. Uh, but as you know, a little bit farther back, it looks really, really sweet and really cool. And then again, you know, this is kind of what I went for. So I think it worked out pretty well. You know, it looks like it's been beaten to hell. Maybe like the gun was originally all white, you know, and then just kind of got beaten off or something like that. So that's kind of the look I was going for kind of but yeah I think I think overall it turned out pretty well and can't really complain so but yeah pretty pretty sweet little thing so and then for the Walther P22 you know I did a little bit of the same but instead of like on a GSG-5 I kinda went with a little bit camo like standard traditional a little bit for the pattern for the P99, I didn't really do that at all. I was like, you know, let's cut a random block here and roll it around. And let's snip this, snip that. Let's cut a little, you know, area out instead of adding, like, a female color type thing. Uh, and then, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to get a little, you know, rip apart action right here. And then, you know, I was like, oh, in the trigger area. Be cool. You could kind of, like, part of that trigger ripped up. And then I just kind of took this one piece of tape cut a couple chunks out, wrapped it around. Also, if you're wondering, by the way, this part I kind of did intentionally like that. Don't know how the light's going to show up, but I was thinking about kind of taking a uh, gray and very lightly spraying it across this gun, just like that. I'm like, well, I'll see what that looks like. So I did that intentionally. Uh, I think it looks kind of cool. I might actually do it on the P99, or uh, sorry, P22, but yeah, I think, I think for a 22 especially, you know, I mean, I was already doing this camo pattern, and I was like, well, it would be kind of neat to do it on both of them, you know, so. Um, pretty cool little thing, so, and, uh, I guess that's really it, you know, but. Yeah, if you got any questions, feel free to ask, and I think I'm gonna, you know, do up a gun here and probably sell it on Gun Broker. So, again, leave the feedback of what you're looking for for camo and colors, and I'll probably just do something. Auctions, well, I'll do it probably uh, buy it now at first. If somebody buys it for the ideal price, awesome. If not, you know, I'll just do a cost price after that, like two weeks or so. So, yeah, have some very neat, interesting stuff. So, you know, again, it's all dirt coated, not just black, and then I put some white on. So, definitely the way to go on these, you know. So, but all right, thanks for watching, and uh, definitely check out some of the other videos I got for like my TP9, my P99, and some other random guns. So, all right, thanks for watching.